several investigations into the centers could take months or even a year. Continuing coverage, the highly anticipated release of a controversial memo is creating chaos in Washington. House Republicans published the Nunes memo today. It accuses the FBI and Justice Department of abusing authority by obtaining surveillance warrants against a Trump campaign volunteer. Spectrum, News 9's Roy de Jesus is in our web center to break it all down for us. The now unclassified Republican memo raises concerns with the legality of how the FBI and Justice Department investigated the Trump campaign. The memo alleges FBI and Justice officials did not legitimately obtain FISA warrants or surveillance of then Trump campaign volunteer Carter Page. It claims now departing Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe says the agency used and relied on the infamous Steele dossier to essentially spy on Page, an American citizen. Then the memo alleges the DNC and the Clinton campaign paid Steele. And several top officials in the Justice Department signed off on these warrants, including current Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. When asked if Rosenstein's job is in jeopardy, President Trump answered this. You, you figure that one out. Even today, Attorney General Jeff Sessions praised his number two. Represent the kind of quality uh, and, and leadership that we want in the department. In an internal video, FBI Director Christopher Wray, who did not want the memo released, told his agents, you've all been through a lot in the past nine months and the past few days haven't done much to calm those waters. Let me be clear, I stand fully committed to our mission and I wish every American could see what I see. The American people read the papers and they hear lots of talk on cable TV and social media. Talk is cheap. The work you do is what will endure. Stetson Law Professor Charles Rose, a former intelligence officer himself, read the memo. He thinks the memo is much ado about nothing. Uh, there's no information in there that's new. There's no information in there that hasn't already sort of leaked out through the edges of the political apparatus. Um, that memo is more interesting for what's not present in it than what's actually present in it. Democratic leadership sent a letter to the president warning him if any Justice Department official is fired because of the memo, it would be an attempt to obstruct justice. From the Web Center, I'm Marita Jesus. Now, Democrats have a memo of their own. It will not be released until it goes through a legislative process similar to the Republican memo.